Hello, I am Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com. In this edition of PowerPoint Diagrams Tutorial Series, you will learn how to create 3D tray in PowerPoint. The 3D tray diagram you will learn to create looks like this. Isn't this beautiful? You can use this tray to represent a number of concepts. For example, if you take this slide, you can see that the tray holds four factors. So the tray can be considered as um, a representation for a receptacle that holds various factors. For example, this could be the vision of an organization and these four could be the principles by which the organization operates. Or this can be the overall governing principle and these are the individual rules that one needs to follow. There are a number of ways in which you can use this particular diagram and let us see how to create this useful 3D tray diagram from scratch. Uh, let us go to a new slide. The first thing I'm going to do is to go to Auto Shapes menu and under rectangles I'm going to pick this tool called as the basic rectangle tool and while I keep the shift button pressed I'm going to draw a square. The next step is to right click, go to format shape and go to effects option. If you are using 2007 or 2010 version, you will see that when you right click and go to format shape, a pop-up appears where you can have, where you have all these um, tools, all, all these uh, functions like there in the pane. Now let us go to, in the effects option, let us go to 3D rotation. And we are going to use a preset called Perspective and Perspective Relaxed. And I am going to reduce the Y rotation by clicking on down arrow here. As I click here, I click till the time I feel that this, um, this slant is adequate. In this case, it's good enough. So 289.6 degrees is the slant of Y rotation that seems appropriate. The next thing is to go to 3D format for us and let us go to top bevel and in top bevel choose the bevel preset called as slope. So click on it. Now you can see that the shape already has the look of a tray. We are going to accentuate that even more by increasing the width and height. Instead of the default 6 points for width, let us make it as 11 points and the height maybe we can have it really deep say 36 points. Now as I do that you can see that the tray gets formed automatically. I can remove the outline and instead of the regular fill here I can go to picture or texture fill and since I already have this picture uh, it is included otherwise you can go to the texture and you can use the medium wood texture or you can use the oak texture or if you want a stone kind of a look you can have this. There are many ways in which you can uh, make the diagram look. So I am going to choose the oak texture for the background and to give it a shadow I am going to choose the shadow option under effects and the preset I am going to use is under outer and it is called as offset center since the shadow is not clearly visible I am going to increase the size of the shadow to 106 percent now I can see the shadow properly now all that is left for me to do is to include these balls into the tray and write my text to the right and uh, that is how you complete the diagram if you want to learn how to create the 3d spheres you have another tutorial available in our channel so you can always refer to that one so that is how you create 3D tray diagram in PowerPoint. Now, when we think about including various factors or four factors emanating from a central factor and things like that, there are quite a few very interesting examples available in our PowerPoint CEO packs, volume one and two. Let me show you the first example of four factors coming out of a central one. This is about four-sided framework. This is the central factor and you can have a text that talks about this whole framework and then you have 
the four factors represented by four text text uh, boxes here and you have another example in this case we talk about the four related issues so central factor and then four factors emanating out of the central factor this if you want to talk about the central factor you can write and uh, let us talk about the four related aspects another one where we talk about in the rim what are the factors uh, so that means they are all connected so the first one the second one third one and fourth one are all connected and the ring represents the connection let me show you the last example for this tutorial and this one is about considering all angles so this one is about the upward angle the right angle the down and the left so how the various uh, directions taken for a particular decision would affect can be represented by this so there are very interesting ways in which you can use uh, a simple concept of four factors and 3d di tray diagram is one such uh, example of four factors held in a particular uh, concept if you are a busy business presenter who doesn't have the time to create such professional looking graphics for yourself you can always take a look at off the shelf solutions like our powerpoint ceo packs volume 1 and 2 the two ceo packs have more than 1600 fully editable charts and graphics for ceos and busy business presenters like you just choose the template that matches your thought and replace the sample text with your own text and your business slides get ready in no time creating professional quality business slides has never been easier Hope you liked the tutorial on creating 3D tray diagram in PowerPoint. If you want to learn more such uh, tutorials, if you want to watch more videos, if you want to read articles that uh, talk about the presentation skills and PowerPoint skills, you can always visit us at presentationprocess.com. Thanks a lot for watching the video and happy presenting.